Welcome back to my channel. I have gotten a lot of questions most recently about how I maintain my hair, how I keep it healthy, how often do I straighten it, if I do straighten it, what do I do to kind of counteract that heat damage, um, all those kind of questions. So I figured I would just go ahead and do a curly hair journey for you guys, um, kind of let you know where I have come from, where my curls have come from, the damage, the heat, the, the color, everything, and then where um, I'm kind of at currently and where I plan to go forward. I started embracing my curls last summer. In just one year, I saw a huge difference with my hair. I've had a tremendous amount of growth. I've been able to see the recovery in just one year. You know, my hair curls are not like perfect right now, but they're so much better than they were before. And I'm gonna share with you some kind of embarrassing pictures <laughs> of my past. Um, I've colored, I've done just about everything to my hair, and I want you guys to kind of see my journey, and hopefully I can help inspire others who have naturally curly hair to embrace it, because when your hair is healthy, you feel happy, and you feel more comfortable in your skin, and that's kind of where I have come from. I hated my hair. I hated it so much, and with just a couple steps of just taking care of it and really nurturing my hair, I feel happy, I feel confident, and I feel so much freer. So I need my phone to like remind me of my pictures and everything. I've gone through many, many changes. When I got into middle school, um, I didn't really straighten my hair too much. Um, I wore it curly, but I didn't know how to wear it. I didn't have the education like we do now to wear my hair curly and actually make it pretty. I didn't put enough product, so it was frizzy, and I hated it. At any moment that I could get my mom to straighten my hair, I would have her straighten it. High school came around. It was the first time I actually got introduced to dyeing my hair, and I did highlights. It was like the first thing that I was allowed to do was blonde highlights. And I put on a cap, you know, put the hair, pulled the hair through the cap, and got a box dye, did that thing. I kept the highlights for a while, I liked them. Then Rihanna's album, Loud, came out. And I don't know about you, but I was obsessed with her hair, the red hair, Rihanna Red. I went to visit my aunt in California, who's a hairstylist, and I had her do a red. Of course, she wasn't gonna give me Rihanna Red, but she did give me a pretty um, reddish color, and it was the first all over color that my hair had done. It was long at the time, it was healthy because I really, even though I was straightening it, it was still baby hair, it was virgin hair, I did nothing to it, it was beautiful. So after I did that, I got comfortable with the red, um, and then I went through a crazy phase. <sighs> I decided to take it upon myself to dye just one section of my hair um, blonde, got a box color, and it ended up turning green. My hair was like a greenish yellow, it was so gross. I was mad, I was mad as can be. I got a toner, I did other colors. It was like a mixture of all kinds of crazy stuff. I was damaging my hair so bad. But my hair took it. Luckily I don't have many pictures of that because that was hideous. I, I don't understand why. And I guess we all can ask ourselves that at some point in our lives when we've done something to ourselves. I don't know why. And even after all the toners, even after I tried to fix it, it looked yellow. It was disgusting. But I was, I rocked it. I thought I was cute, you know. I was going through my, my phase, my, my crazy phase. So I did that and um, obviously my hair suffered some damage. I finally got tired of this big old blonde streak and I decided to go black and I it was such a drastic change. I went from this blonde color, light, you know, to just black. I don't think I have any pictures of me with black hair. Um, I look through everything. I cannot find any photos of me with black hair. I did keep a strand of blonde from before underneath my hair for some reason. So I had black and then I had a strip of, of blonde, like a blondish. Who knows? So I kept the black and I let it just naturally go. I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything to it. Um, I had cut my hair because I was feeling, again, like I wanted to do something to it. Um, I cut my hair, I cut bangs like this. I wanted to be Kimbra because Kimbra's album came out and I was like, I didn't want to be Kimbra. I want to have black hair and I want to have these blunt cut bangs and, and it was cute, but again, I'm sorry, I don't have any pictures of that time of my life. Then I got through this 
hair extension phase. I wanted my hair long. I wanted long hair. I started watching YouTube videos and all the girls had long hair. All of them were wearing extensions. So I'm like, I need to figure out what I need to do to make my hair longer because now I want long hair. So um, I actually ended up using a product called Nism. I remember it, which is crazy. It was a shampoo and conditioner. You were supposed to wash your hair every day in cold water and then it would make your hair grow after 30 days. And I did it twice, so I did it for two months, and it did make my hair grow. It had the blonde streak, the blonde streak, and then my hair was longer, so it definitely grew a lot longer. But when I went to my hairstylist, she told me that it's not good for you to wash your hair every day, and when you do that, it does grow because it's wet all the time, but it's not healthy growth. So I had all this unhealthy growth, and I went to her and I was just like, okay, well, what do you suppose I do? She says, well, keep it long. I'm going to gradually cut it so that you can get rid of this unhealthy growth. And I was like, oh, fine, okay. So I stopped with the Nism stuff. I dyed my little strip back to brown because I was over it at that point. And then I started to try to embrace more of my brown color. That was short-lived. Then I decided to just have her chop it off. I had her chop it and I had her run highlights through it. I stopped doing things myself at this point because I was just like, I suck. <laughs> the highlights were so um, light, you couldn't really see it and I was kind of mad about that because I was like, I want, if I'm gonna get highlights, I want you to see my highlights. So in some lights you can really see the blonde and then in other lights you, you can't. And at this time I was going back and forth with straight and curly. And I'll put some pictures in there showing like what my curly hair looked like at the time. It wasn't healthy at all. It was actually quite um, rough. I was happy with that for a little bit and then I wanted to go more. So I asked her more highlights. I want more. I want you to be able to see that I have blonde hair. And so she did. And I think she cut it just a little bit more. And this hairstyle I was actually happy with for a long time because I just loved the blonde look, especially in the summer months because my skin is tan and it's just, it makes my hair kind of pop. And I did like to wear it curly at the beach and stuff because with the blonde intertwined with the curls, it looks pretty. When you start with the blonde, it's never enough. So I did my hair again. This time it was with something a little bit stronger. And it did get it to a really pretty light blonde color. I decided to change it at that point because it started to look so dry and like not healthy whenever I you know, did anything. It was just unhealthy looking. It looked brittle. It looked dry. And I was like, ugh. So, decided to dye my hair once again, guys. And I decided to do a very dark brown that looked black. It really did look black. But this was a dark brown and it was a John Frieda box color that I just decided to put all over my hair. And my hair had gotten really short. It had gotten really tired of me messing with it. The curls started looking more kinky, more poofy, more just matted, and it didn't look cute. And I was like, what's, what's going on with my hair? So I gave up on my curls. I was just like, screw curls. I'm just gonna wear my hair straight. My hair did not grow at all. It was so sad. Every once in a while, I would go back to my hair curls, and I would just see if I could try to embrace it, but it never worked out for me, and I would always just hate it. The next summer came around, I saw it being getting so light and I was like, I might as well just bring the blonde back, right? This was around the time that ombres were extremely popular, you know, the ombre rave, everyone was doing ombre, this part down was blonde, that's what I did. I bought a box color and I took that, I did it myself, and it wasn't bad, it actually was successful in my opinion. Yeah, my curly hair at that time was super thin and super short, I'm looking at a picture right now, I'll show you guys, um, super, super short. I mean, I think it's the shortest it's ever been. You can see the damage, you see the frizz. I had no idea what I was doing with my hair. Didn't have enough product, but most importantly, it just really, it wasn't healthy. I moved to California for a period of time and I felt like with my tan, um, I was in a new place, that I wanted to go ahead and experiment with blonde again. I went all over blonde. Why? Don't know. It didn't look bad. It didn't look horrible. Um, but it was just so damaging for my poor hair um, after all it had already been through. And once I did this, I noticed an immediate change in the thickness of my hair. I always grew up with very thick hair. My hair just looked thin. It looked like I had cut off half of it. It, it was like, where's the rest of it? I noticed I had to put a lot more makeup on my face so I couldn't do like a natural look. I had to put more makeup on because I felt like it washed me out. I didn't like it. And on top of that, I was about to get married. 
and I was thinking, you know, do I want to get married with this hair color? It wasn't what I wanted for especially my wedding day. I went ahead, I got a box color, and I dyed it dark brown. But at this point, my hair was very brittle and very thin looking, so I had to add extensions. These photos um, are my hair, it's dark, but I had to add extensions to make it longer. I had so much of the blonde underneath, and so it started to get lighter and lighter. And it was only a few months until it actually was super light. It was like a pretty um, light brown with highlights. You could see it. Um, it's actually great. People always ask me every single time I was out, oh, did you dye your hair? Did you highlight it? And I'm like, no, it's just all the mistakes of my past, <laughs> you know? Um, but it was pretty. I still wore my extensions because I was super insecure about my hair. It was super short and super thin, so I used the extensions to add length and thickness to my hair. So after I got married, I kind of just stopped dyeing my hair. I did not let like more than a week or two go by without having my hair straight. Straight, straight, straight. This was my problem, and I knew I needed to make a change when I started to hate my hair even when it was straight. It was dry, it was brittle, it was super thin, it was not pretty, and I started to hate my hair. So I got on YouTube, oh my goodness, I got on YouTube, and wow, there are so many girls with curly hair, and it is a blessing because I was able to gather all this information and figure out what I needed to do. I started to just wear my hair curly. I tried out Shea Moisture again. I tried out Diva Curl. Started co-washing with Diva Curl. I did masks every week. When you're getting into your curly hair journey and starting out, it's rough. So I had to, for me personally, set goals for myself. So if I had an event coming up, I would straighten my hair, but I would make myself go through that entire period of time cur with curly hair, and until that date, then I would wear it straight. I started falling in love with my curls. I started falling in love with how I looked only because my curls started to get curlier. They started to do the ringlet thing. Um, I started just learning different hairstyles that I thought were cute. The fall of last year, I did dye my hair. What I did was I decided to go ahead and do an all over color and I chose red. I wanted a red again. It was healthier, longer, and thicker. And so I felt comfortable dyeing it because I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do this one dye and then after that, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna keep it curly, I'm gonna try really hard, and that's what I did. Then this summer, this is the color, I haven't done anything to it. You can see the red tones are still in there and it's still light, it's a very light color. I haven't touched it since October of last year. So this was my first year of actually trying to embrace my curls and not doing half as much damage as I had in years past. And it has grown tremendously, it's gotten so much healthier, and I can't wait to see what more it does. I don't need my extensions anymore. I've actually surpassed the length of my extensions, which is really exciting for me because, yeah, I'll clip in my extensions and my curly hair will be as long as my old extensions, which is super cool. I'm really excited about that. I feel beautiful and that's important, you know, feeling beautiful and having healthy hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a grand time just sitting here chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.